Hey guys, it's Elizabeth, and this is not your regularly scheduled programming. Uh, it's, um, I don't know, Saturday, July 1st, and I am driving home from an event in LA, and I was just feeling all the appreciation rampage, and I thought usually I do that on my Instagram stories, my appreciation rampage. If you aren't following me on Instagram, please do. I love Instagram. It's my favorite. Link is below in the box. But um, there were so many things I thought it would take me forever to do that in 15 second intervals. I think I'm just going to make a video about it. So what am I grateful for? Lots of things. First of all, I am grateful that I feel like I really have my second win and am back on track from a weight loss perspective. Um, I feel good. My body has changed. I've lost, um, uh, I don't know, like eight point something pounds um, in the last two months, which is great. And just eating a ketogenic lifestyle makes me feel better and I can just tell the difference in my body. I'm going to, uh, I'll take my measurements before my Monday update video, but I just feel good again. I feel like myself. I have tons of energy. This plan works really well for me. It's what I did basically not with the high fat, but the low carb moderate protein is what I did for the first two years of post-op and it works for me and it makes me feel great and I just feel like I have my second wind again and um, it feels really good and I feel really, I was texting with Tanya last night, it's like I feel like I feel more confident now than maybe I ever have that I will get to the goal of 179, 179 pounds and have plastics and be all good with it. But um, yeah, I maybe for the first time really believe that and feel it and it's awesome. So I want to uh, first appreciate Tanya, um, VSG Tanya 2011 because she has been very patient and supportive with me as I've gone back and forth and it took me a few months to finally get it together and that whole time she was so supportive and never made me feel like I was failing because that's just not who she is even though I was you know screwed up a little bit and not able to commit to it but then I was and now I am and it feels really good so I appreciate that I appreciate you know all you amazing people in this weight loss surgery community I came home yesterday to a package from Kim who Catcher 42, Kim, Kim in Tennessee. Um, this fabulous package with a coffee cup and this sign that I just love. This is a beautiful bright blue color. It says Hello Sunshine, which is my thing. Love that. And I love that there are just all these people um, out there. First, it was via YouTube who, um, you know, you get to know through comments and now Instagram. It's really amazing, wonderful, supportive community. Okay, so that's the weight loss and surgery stuff. What about the real life stuff? Not that that isn't real life. Um, I feel super grateful today that my son is, it seems like, according to Instagram, because you know, that's how you follow your 20 year old, uh, 21 year old, that he is having a really great time on tour. He's posting some great pictures. Um, and this morning he sent me a, and Susie, if you're watching this, I'm going to send it to you too. But, uh, he, this morning he sent me a link, uh, to an auction that's being held of Warren Zevon's book, who, books, who is somebody that I really like. He's a musician. And I didn't even know that um, Ian knew that I liked him so much. Um, but I guess he's paying attention to my Instagram too every once in a while. So that just really touched my heart. I am feeling just in general a real sense of being at home at home in my, um, home in my body, at home in my family, and I know that might seem weird since I'm 51 years old, but I've always felt like with my parents that it's been a little bit of a struggle, and I was showing, I, you know, I was showing up, um, but I always felt kind of disconnected, and I don't feel that with either one of my parents now. I met my dad for, um, lunch today, and it just feels so easy and comfortable, and I feel the same way with my mom. We're going to a concert tonight, um, and I don't know, just something shifted, and I just feel at home, and even, um, so I had an event for work this morning where we took, we have a program at, um, the nonprofit that I work for, for girls to 
to um, participate in some of our events. Generally, these are like panel discussion events, but at the very first one, um, my boss had mentioned that she wanted all the girls to see Wonder Woman if they hadn't. So I pulled together a screening of Wonder Woman today and we went to see that. And my, um, my ex-boyfriend, who looks a lot like Fat Kingsville, which doesn't matter, whatever. <laughs> I just think it's funny. Now, every time I see him, I think of Phil. But, um, came uh, to the event. And even talking to him afterwards, I felt just this real sense of being at home and comfortable. And, I don't know, it seems like sort of a new thing. And you know what else? He's 62 years old. And has never been married. And he has... He is talking about getting married to somebody. And that makes me really excited and happy for him. I think he deserves that, and I think that will be awesome for him. And I just appreciate that it just, you know, somebody who has been, who's 62 years old and has never been married, that they get married, I don't think that happens that often to you. So I appreciate the shit out of that for him. And I know there were more things than this. What else do I appreciate? Oh, I don't know. I just wanted to share with you guys how I'm feeling. I appreciate everybody who I appreciate. Uh, less of Sarah, Sarah Nerd in Oregon, Lindsay, Lauren, all the people who continue to make videos, particularly, um, I really particularly want to um, hit on Less of Sarah because she made a video this week about a promotion that she just got, which congratulations, Sarah, if you're watching. But listening to her talk through this video reminded me of why I adored her so much in those early days. She and I both think a lot about things, and just hearing somebody else process some of the things that go through my head, all the helpful. Oh, and you know what else I appreciate? I appreciate I appreciate Dr. B because he is fucking hysterical. Um, <laughs> whatever, because because working out doesn't cure loose skin, but he has a skin cream that you can buy for seventy two dollars. That will. It just makes me laugh. Um, I just appreciate my life and my friends and all the opportunities I have. And I wanted to share it in more than 15 second intervals. Uh, oh, and I want to appreciate Lindsay Fly just because she keeps coming back. <laughs> and I just want her to know that I'm cheering for her. All right, you guys have a great weekend. Have a great 4th of July. And I will talk to you later.